Frolickies, and welcome back to my channel. I am Bumblebee Fern. You can find me over on Instagram at the Frolicking Fern. And today, I know it's so late, so I'm so sorry, so so sorry. Um, I usually really try to get these videos out a bit earlier in the month, but it has been crazy. And I was also waiting for my last box to come in so I could include it because I knew there were going to be some good, some good goodies. So I finally got it up and released that video, or at least you're releasing here in a few minutes. So I'm excited about that. If you want to stay up to date and be notified of all of my giveaways and my side-by-sides and all my other videos that I do, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. It helps so much. I don't even, I hate saying that, but it really does help me so much. And y'all, we reached a thousand subscribers. Oh my gosh. I am so, so excited. I've been telling y'all that I have some exciting things coming up. Some exciting things are on the way to me in the mail right now. So upgrading Bumblebee Botanica and my channel. And then also, I have some very exciting things in the works and some plans for some kind of deeper things y'all can do with me if you're interested in that and also being able to offer different things personally. So I'm so excited. I'm going to stop blabbing on about that because we have a long video ahead of us. Get yourself a cup of tea or coffee and let's get right into it. So first off, first box on my my stack my pile over here is the witch's box so this month was green witchery and i was so excited for it i really love this company and the people behind it they have a beautiful mission and they also have a lot of online content and more um like forms and then they do a deep dive and a lot of really cool like they even have a youtube channel a lot of cool support um, for, for you personally throughout your craft and kind of just be, being able to commune with different witches. So let's get into this box and then I'll give you a bit more of how I'm feeling about it and what, what my thoughts are at the end. So we have our pamphlet there. And I did all of the in-depth unboxings on my channel if you want to go check those out. I will also link my unboxing playlist and all the boxes I am subscribed to down below in the description. So the beautiful, beautiful piece of this was Garden Witch's Herbal. So this is a gorgeous book, nice and thick. The, it's like a beautiful, that kind of like soft touch feel, like where it's almost like velvety, satiny. I have yet to get into it because y'all have been so freaking busy, but I am very excited to read this because I am a kind of gardeny witch. I guess you could, you could definitely call me a garden witch or a forest witch or a green witch, whatever, even a hedge witch. I don't know. I don't even know what I am, but I am all of those things. So yes, I'm very excited to get into this book. It is gorgeous. And then we have our Grimoire pages. We have a lavender and about lavender. And you will see why we have two of those in a second. Chamomile. And what are you? Orange peel. Tarot card. A nice queen of cups. Sorry if you can hear my children in the background. They're refusing to go to sleep again. But we have a beautiful clear quartz point. A nice chunky one too. Lavender seeds a terracotta pot to do your planting in. And then we got a beautiful, beautiful trowel. So it says, secret earth roots unseen, bless and help this growing green. So a beautiful trowel, it's nice and heavy duty. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart on you like a lot of the other ones I've bought. So very nice to have this in my little tool shed. And then they also sent these like tiny little super sweet um, like fairy garden animals. I know everybody kind of got a different one. I got this, the most adorable fox with a little flower crown and I've heard people um, have gotten hedgehogs. One of my subscribers said, another subscriber said that, or they actually did an unboxing and um, they got a little bunny, I think. So, so cute. I love that. I'm very sad to say that my children, I think my middle daughter, Alana, got a hold of it and she was playing with it and dropped it on the floor and it actually like shattered <laughs> into like four pieces, which I was pretty surprised about because I thought it was more of like a resin type material, but I guess it was a little bit more brittle than that. So very sad. I'm trying to find the last little piece to glue them back together or I would have shown him. He's just too sad to show right now, but very, very cute. It is my fault that he broke, but if you did get one, don't drop it on the ground or at least on the tile because super sad. Okay, so let's get into how I am feeling about this box. Um, this is one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive, maybe um, aside from like the Witch's Bounty that I get every three months. This is the most expensive box that I receive and it really seems like at least the past two months they have been maybe trying to move their um, their value more to their online content, which is a little bit of a, 
Oh, I totally forgot also, I'm sorry. I totally forgot to show that they also gave us some orange peels and some chamomile, like nice big bags of them. So I do use a lot um, of each of those things in my resin. So that was really nice to see those. But like I said before, um, it does seem like they are pushing their, or their value towards their online content. I don't know if maybe that's just the past couple boxes. I mean, they are a subscription service with kind of like mystery type boxes. So every box isn't going to be a super on point hit for each person, like everybody, because everybody's different, obviously. So um, that being said, I know that some months they really do pack a ton of gorgeous, gorgeous value in. And it might, you know, maybe it's just the kind of the waves of the coronavirus and the pandemic, all these different things that have maybe have affected them or maybe it's just been that you know some some months that they have different items that maybe they um people have different opinions about so i personally don't feel like i was super happy i mean i would have been much happier with this box if maybe they had a little bit um different herbs that were a little bit harder to come by and then maybe instead of a terracotta pot maybe something like a cool cauldron pot or a little bit something a little bit more unique i would have loved to see that and i would have been a lot happier with the value of this box that being said um, like I previously mentioned, I really do like this um, this company. I am affiliated with them. So anybody who uses my link in the description, um, I actually get a percentage of their profits. So that's really nice. Um, but still, I really, it's very important to me to be um, transparent. And I don't want to come, I'm very, very, <laughs> I know a lot of you know that I am very, very um, easygoing and kind of, I'm easy to please in some ways. I'm not as critical as I should be. And I'm really trying to work on that, but um I want to be transparent. I don't want it to seem like I am hyping a box up just because I make money for it because that is not my intent at all. Um, I really wouldn't be even subscribed to these boxes if I didn't love them. And I love, I love, 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 and I have really built an amazing relationship or just more like an energetic relationship with Elena and Elliot and everybody else who is able to join on the deep dive gatherings. It's a really cool and unique um, event. So. That is how I feel about this box. I will definitely be continuing my subscription and hopefully they kind of pick it up or make bring up that value that is that was um, that is usually in their boxes up again because I would love to see more things from the witches box. All right, so next box we are going to work with Sugar Muses. I love this company so much. Christy, who is the curator of this box, the creator of this box, um, is a beautiful, beautiful person. Next month, she actually um, donated a box to me for free. So that was so, so sweet of her. Um, and I know that a lot of you, after seeing my unboxings, like went over there and really showed her some support and some love. So thank you so much for that. Um, these boxes are absolutely gorgeous, definitely on par with The Witch's Moon, which is also a great company, and um, I'm really, really loving the vibes of these boxes. So, this month was Psychic Illumination. She, another cool thing that they do is they include a um, ritual or a spell within their pamphlets, and everything in here is everything you need for that spell, so that is really, really neat if you're looking for more of a ritual or spell box, like a guided, guided ritual or spell box beautiful wrapping very very light and pretty airy so we got some incense our tarot this month was gorgeous look at this black and gold tarot super pretty tarot nice classic imagery got athena first the summer solstice for summer solstice aka litha amazing another amazing book so psychic witch and then another like really that soft touch like velvety feel i just love books like this she gave us some handmade soap, beautiful soap, tea tree and tea tree ginger and aloe soap, so gorgeous. I've been waiting to break into this because I actually have a really cool thing we will be doing at the end of this video, witchy cold care herbal tea, a nice tea bag, a beautiful stone, and oh, I cannot even remember which, what exactly this is. Oh, it's beautiful, solstice moon ritual oil. I used that in my last video for my custom spell skull. So if you want to check that out, you can. Love that. What don't I love? I know I say, I love that my husband makes fun of me all the time because I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so excited. I love it. I love it. It smells so good. And he just makes fun of me because I'm like that. We got this beautiful, I have been wearing this. I had to put it back in the box, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful resin, Queen Anne's lace. 
heart necklace for future me popping in here to say i totally forgot to include these beautiful items that were in the sugar muses box a beautiful sage bundle and their summer solstice candle how did i forget these because they were in my area where i do my resin because i was actually using them or about to use them so so pretty gorgeous items that i could not leave out so back to the video i absolutely love this box like i said links are in the description and i really recommend this one so another thing about sugar muses is they usually give you items for the sabbath or the equinox or the um, solstice coming up so that is really so the thing about sugar muses is they usually at least in one of their boxes give you um items that is geared around the sabbath that is coming up so that's really neat i usually end up using a lot of their items in my rituals that i do for those and also at the ends of my videos they are always on point with what i am looking for so sticking with the sugar muses we will go with our midnight muses box for this month I guess this is their cheapest box and I absolutely love the vibes. This month was the Illuminated Journey. Summer or the Illuminated Journey like a um, Grimoire page or Book of Shadows page. Solstice Bloom Herbal Tea. And all of their teas are, are organic as well. Beautiful. I think, I believe this was Calcite and Quartz. I'm pretty sure. Some incense sticks adorable bottles the baggies of herbs they put them in these really cute little apothecary bottles this month they always come with the casting salt like that has nice it's nice and herby and then we got eucalyptus and meadow sweet so that was exciting because i don't have either of those in my apothecary yet we got some litha ritual oil let me know down below. Do you say Litha or do you say Litha? Maybe it just depends on where you are in the world or maybe I just have always said it the wrong way. I don't know. But we got the mini steampunk tarot. Super cute. I did a little flip through of this on my, um, on my unboxing video. We got this gorgeous little spell or a candle bundle with a Jupiter, the um, sigil of Jupiter. He's waxy. I like to say my sister was making fun of me for that a while back and then so this was my favorite piece in this box and it was a pentacle altar tile absolutely love that this is also included in their little ritual that they that they include in their um, pamphlet and i will be using this in my spell slash ritual for later on in this video so those are the two sugar muses boxes i received i have heard that the normal sugar muses box um, like I said, I get the Sugar Muses Deluxe, and I heard that the, the normal Sugar Muses box is um, includes quite a few of the same items as the Deluxe box, but maybe just a few less, um, and sometimes she does switch it up, is what she was saying, just so it is a little bit different. I have been kind of wanting to get a Sugar Muses box, like the normal one, just to kind of do like a side-by-side, -side, and maybe I will eventually do a giveaway if my channel gets big enough and I'm able to afford that. Um, but yes, I, I really want to see what else they have to offer. Next, we will move on to my spiral rain box. I can even close it so it's packed full of goodies and nice and heavy. And so this box was gifted to me. This is my first month receiving this box and Ronnie is super sweet. She actually said that she was gonna be sending me a couple of her other different boxes that she has on her, um, on her site. Go check them out. They have, um, like I said, multiple different boxes. And they also have something really cool about this box is all of the information, like the Book of Shadows information that they um, provide you with. So check this out. It's like a whole book full of info, like correspondences, um, information on the upcoming Sabbath, um, moon, moon, um, moon magic and different correspondences with that, like a ton of information. I went through it again in my unboxing video so if you want to see it deeper and they actually like i was going to say sorry i'm talking so quickly in this video i'm trying not to make it super super long but they have um she just opened up a new like little tiny subscription service where she provides all of this information if you want just the book of shadows pages so super cool we got this super adorable honey spell Look how cute these little sticks of honey are. Okay, so we got this little jar of herbies, beautiful herbs in there, little chime candle. God, as you can see, I've been using it quite a bit, but this moon, loon moon um, candle, and it was an herby candle. Oh, and it also, so I had it and now I don't, but it's run away. 
but it came with a super pretty piece of peach moonstone in there and i love herby candles like that and it was just gorgeous i think it had blue lotus in there some calendula um jasmine so so pretty and i've been using it quite a bit and it smells so good it smells like cucumber melon i believe yes jasmine and cucumber melon is a scent we got this beautiful sleep sachet it is the most gorgeous smelling little sachet this is actually one that i might keep intact and actually put in my pillow i've been trying to keep it out because i know i would forget about it we're going to be putting it in my side by side this i was super excited about i have been using this quite a bit as well super cute witchy necklace it has a little pentacle on there and a moon and then a piece of opal light i absolutely love it i wear this when i'm feeling brave and feeling like i can show off my witchiness we got this super cute spell box it's like a lotus spell box nice wood and then it's like i believe bronze or something metal on top and then we got some I believe, I can't remember if it also included this piece of rose quartz. I have, I have quite a bit of rose quartz, like tumbles. So, but it came with um, Labradorite, a smoky quartz, some amethyst. Hey, future me popping in to say that the spiral ring actually included this beautiful selenite chunk instead of that little rose quartz tumble, I believe, that I put in there. So, back to that. I love like how many tumbles they give you. That's like really nice actually have something coming soon that we will be able to use those for excited and then she gave us our little card so thank you this box i also didn't mention is based in canada so a lot of like her descriptions things are in french she gave us a box of incense i actually took it out of the box because the box was a bit squished but all the incense were completely fine and this incense was the moon incense this beautiful journal the severed moon so this is a guided journal and it includes um, 365 pages for each day of the year and kind of just like guided um guided journaling so really really cool i'm terrible at journaling so i'm hoping that this can help me stay on track but i love this idea and it is a gorgeous gorgeous book it has a nice little bookmark there super cute great size so love it love this box I cannot wait to see the box she sends me next. I believe she is saying she's going to send me her own box, which is beautiful. Please go check out her site. She deserves lots of love. Tiny Cauldron. So Tiny Cauldron is a company that I work, I've been working with actually pretty closely. I am also affiliated with them and she does more traditional magic and she isn't only a subscription box service. So she is mostly a little shop and she also has, um, different mystery boxes and different um, different curated boxes for specific intentions or for sp specific traditions even. So she has a kitchen witchery box. I believe she has like a water witch box. She has a Salem box, a forbidden set. She I've done the fairy attraction kit unboxing and ritual that you saw, you could see in my Ostara video. She does a beautiful job curating her items. She does them like all by hand, well obviously all by hand, but she does them all kind of like by made to order. And she's also able to customize the boxes for you. So if you do get a, this is the witchcraft mystery box, which is, can include any items in her shop. And um, this is extra large, I believe. You can and use my code B for 15% off your entire order. And, um, but yeah, you can kind of give her an intention or something you're interested in working in. And then she will actually um, kind of tailor that box to your needs. So that's something really cool and kind of, um, neat that she can do that other boxes can't so we got she has all these beautiful tags on there and then she actually hand writes all of her ingredients and everything on there so this is her money salt chunky chunky salts so she throws a ton of herbs in there i love the bee pollen that she put in there this is the negativity sachet there is that we got some beauty oil love her beauty oil you can see like you couldn't even see that sorry i got too excited and please excuse my nails i did some gardening and it didn't turn out that well for me or for my nails at least so beautiful this is probably one of my favorite looking oils of hers and you can see those poppy seeds and that beautiful lime in there summerlin's oil so i'm very excited about this because um she will be coming out with her summerlin's box here probably hopefully in the beginning of july 
and I actually have an item that I made for her that is in that box. So if you're interested in that, keep your eye out on her channel. I will also obviously be doing updates on my Instagram and so will she. So keep an eye out, make sure to use my code for your 15% off and you'll see what I put in there. It's actually turned out beautiful. Love it, love that I was able to work with her and that will not be the last time. So we got, so I was excited in this box, we got some Oxymels. Hopefully that's how you say it. I've been saying Oxymels, but I hope that's how you say it. This one is Prosperity. Oxymels are actually like a mixture. Uh, it's usually a honey and vinegar base and you actually put them on your tongue or under your tongue and they help invoke those intentions and kind of get you just another um, sensory just using your another sense one of your senses to get yourself into that intention into that mode that magical mode i'll be doing a video more on oxymels as well she also gave us a sensuality oxymel this is a beautiful one it has hibiscus and beet so it's nice and red and my favorite i saved for last in here i actually helped inspire the idea of this one so Super happy to have it in my collection. This is the Fairy Attraction Oxymel, and it is the most delicious tasting one, I think. She was saying that it's her favorite as well, and I like have some of this every single day, especially if I'm going outside my garden, just kind of getting those fey vibes and enjoying that magic, that energy. So very different kind of traditional magic that is very underutilized, I think, in today's in today's witchcraft kind of community. So excited about those. And next we will move on to our Witch's Root Psychic Sight. So we got a beautiful, nice thick bottle of body ritual oil, Psychic Sight. And I use this every single day. Um, I've actually been working this into my nighttime, my nighttime routine for more like dream magic. We got some rope incense. I wanna say it's patchouli, a uh, mugwort. Book of Shadows page, beautiful by A. E. Alden. All of their artwork is by A. E. Alden. And an Insight page. So, so, so pretty. I love A. E. Alden's artwork. Mugwort, love that. To the Witch's Roots has the bigger bags of herbs. Got a beautiful amethyst, beautiful black candle with the purple glitter on the end. We got Psychic Sight pendant, so that's very cool. Love the Witch's Root, especially. This is an amazing beginner box if you are interested in um, green, green, green witchcraft um, and kind of building your herbal apothecary. I would definitely recommend this one for your first box if that is so. And if you are not interested in any specific tradition or maybe like any specific um, thing in witchcraft and just kind of want to dip your toes in, I would recommend probably like either this box or Midnight Muses. Uh, Midnight Muses is pr a very similar price to this box, and um, but it, it also kind of focuses on everything. I get asked that question a lot, which I would recommend, and I would, that's what I would say. And then, so the Witch's Moon, this box is, the Witch's Roots is part of the Witch's Moon family, and um, this is their cheapest box. And then we have the classic Witch's Moon box, which is their middle box, and then they also have the Witch's Bounty, which I'll be getting next month. Um, and that is our most expensive box. And it's the same size as Witch's Roots, but it's actually a pendant or um, amulet, pendant amulet focused box. So this box, this is a very, very popular one in the witchy community. And you will see why it is never a um, disappointment. It, they always have beautiful curated items in here. This month was of Sacred and Shadow. Handle incantation there, the shadow self the light body so both light and dark i have been using this a lot and i haven't even taken my little incense bits out of it but gorgeous gorgeous incense burner moline i believe that's how you say it it's beautiful star anise nice full pieces there beautiful so happy black and white tapered beeswax candles if you watch my videos um, if you're part of the honey coven you will know that I work pretty much only with black and white candles and sometimes gold candles as well because I do a lot of like abundance and prosperity work, but I usually um, pretty much just work with black and white and then anoint them and dress them to my liking. Okay, so we got this gorgeous stone in here. It has one polished side and then it's nice and rough. It, it feels so good to just hold and to even like rub that nice polished 
bit. So a nice, gorgeous palm stone. Roll of fire, Omni Manatite. Some nice sacred salts, always nice and herby. Beautiful. Nice bunch of calendula in there. I asked y'all how to pronounce this before because I pronounced it Etain, but I believe Older Moon said that it was called Itine or something. I don't even, I can't even remember. I'll try to maybe put it in there or or maybe I won't because I'll probably forget, but not Etain and it's something else, but yeah. So hopefully I got it almost there. <laughs> We got the gray anointing oil, mustard seed. I actually just used this in my previous resin piece. Some incense cones. Star of the show was this amazing giant oracle deck. It is so pretty. It's called the White Light Oracle by Alana Fairchild. And it is so pretty. I did a flip flip, little flip flu. A flip through in my unboxing video, but this wolf was following me around everywhere. I love it so much, love her. Beta of Spirit Wolf. So love this deck. I will definitely be doing more work with this as well. And I think that is everything, y'all. We made it through. So please let me know if you have any questions about any of these boxes or any of these items. I'd love to kind of give you some more um, insight on, into them and kind of my, um, how I feel about them, what I think about them, what I think my favorites are, which I don't have a favorite, but I know every, one of my most common questions is which box do I recommend the most, which I kind of touched on throughout this video. Um, but yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. And, and also let me know if you have um, any boxes. I'm starting to get together a list. So something I want to start doing each month is actually testing out a box from a different company that I have not tried yet, or maybe companies that I want to kind of spotlight again, and kind of just trying out different companies and their boxes. So let me know down below. I'm gonna start a list. I kind of have started a list already, but I'm gonna keep adding to my list of boxes that I want to try over time. And each month we'll kind of look at a different box so next month I will have my Witch's Bounty, so that will take the place of that box, but then every month that I don't have my Witch's Bounty, ah, every month that we don't have the Witch's Bounty, I will be trying out something new. And that could be from Etsy as well. There's this amazing, um, cool kind of witchy box, witchy treasure chest type company that I wanna try out very soon. And yeah, so let me know if there's anything that you think I should look at and let's get to the giveaway. Okay, so this month I will be giving away some beauty oil from the Tiny Cauldron. Y'all, this is like seriously one of my favorite oils of them. Like I can't wait for you to smell it. I will be giving away the mini steampunk tarot that I got. It's a super cute deck, but I think I've mentioned before, I kind of like the more traditional and less like kind of cartoony decks. So I know y'all will be able to get more enjoyment out of that than I will. And then also this Psychic Sight Pendant. I will be writing down the incantation because I love that. But um, I mean, I definitely, if I was to use this, I would use it as more of like a charm or something like that. But um, I know that I will not be using this as much as somebody else could. So. That is my giveaway. Surprise, surprise that it's not pretty much just a candle giveaway this month. And yeah, keep your eye out on my channel because I might also be doing kind of like a thousand subscriber. I'm so excited about that. But a thousand subscriber giveaway that is a little bit special. So we will definitely see if I can throw something something if I can throw something together. It might be something like a resin piece that I create or something along those lines. So please check out my shop, my Etsy shop, Bumblebee Botanica, if you're interested in anything I create and follow me over there so you can see updates in my shop. I'm making some beautiful new things actually. Let me show you. So a couple of things that I've created recently, I've been creating these super pretty like crystal type pieces and this was more of like a self love and um, a kind of like luck bringing luck in the love department piece and then I created this gorgeous look at this ring holder so these are real quartz points and then um, kind of like a unicorn horn or even like a shell type ring holder for perfect for charging um, any kind of magical jewelry especially the the unicorn horn actually has a quartz crystal inside it so if you were to use it as a ring holder you can use this as a charging plate I love that and some nice like a holographic bottom and then I just made this I can't decide if I, what I'm going to make with it create with it yet if I'm going to make another ring holder or if I'm going to make a crown or we will see let me know if you have any ideas 
but beautiful, another beautiful piece, beautiful rose on the bottom there. And another, all these pieces also have a clear quartz point in the horn. So gorgeous. Love these pieces so much. I've been kind of playing around with them. These are either are or will be in my shop. So check those out if you're interested or any of my other pieces that I create. So let's get to our spell. I'm gonna do a tiny short preview type spell for my Lytha ritual video. Um, it's actually gonna be more of like a vloggy, I guess not vloggy, but kind of similar to my previous Sabbath videos that I would be premiering some other time during hopefully this week. I know it's so late, but the energy is still there. So I'm gonna be doing that. But for now, we are gonna do a kind of box inspired spell for that. So stick around if you wanna see it. 